Awesome pixel effects, great results in CRI, TLCI and most importantly SSI, 16 lighting zones for smooth transitions and it is 4 foot long. And also 9 system effects and 7 pixel effects. Amaran PT4C 2 lights production kit by Aperture. Let's review that. So here you can see how it works in rainbow mode. And here is the backstage on how I shot Moza Aircross S versus DJI Mini 3 video. So guys, let's have a look at the kit. The whole package weight is 6 kilograms, not light by any means. So in the kit you'll get an awesome carrying bag. I do love the build quality and the layout of this bag. So here we have 4 different pouches and each pouch contains some accessories. First of all we get 2 chargers with long cables and 45 watts each. Also we get 2 rings so you can hang the light from up above. Here we have 2 sets of clamps so you can use those clamps to clamp the slide to a light pole or use a very strong magnet like I show you in this example. And it's very strong and secure. The only downside of those clamps is that they are made out of plastic and I'm not sure if this plastic is going to last long. For instance in the other light I reviewed, the Luxio P120S of the same size, they have metallic clamps and it is much more secure than plastic. I hope this won't break soon. Here we have two big tripod feet and they feature 3 8 and quarter 20 threads. They are very wide so the light will be standing in a very stable way. So here I can show you the size of those and as you can see I can just put them on the table. Also in the kit you'll find two DMX cables, USB-C, two XLR, very nice touch as well and the lights themselves. They are pretty big and white and I like the design. So here we have the battery life of 2.5 hours at full power. Also you can place this light on a table or just a flat surface using those five different positions. We have threads on both sides of the light itself. And also the menu system and button layout is pretty simple and really easy to understand and it charges via USB-C. The pixels themselves are visible and I wish it had more pixels but it would be even more expensive than right now. Now guys let's have a look at the menu system of this light. So we have a lot of different modes like Bluetooth, DMX and the CCT mode is from 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin and you also do get a green magenta shift which is very important because you'll be able to match this light with all of the lights in your kit. The next mode is Hue, Saturation and Intensity, but also you are able to add a CCT value into the HSI mode, which is really handy. And all in all, the quality of this light, the colors are very vibrant, nice and accurate. The system effects are pretty straightforward, paparazzi, lightning, TV, fire and also faulty ball, pulsing, cop car, party lights and fireworks, nothing too crazy here. But the pixel effects are much more interesting, especially something like pixel fire or rainbow or pixel chase and you can customize those through the light itself with the control panel, but it's not as convenient as using the Citus Link app, which I'll show you in a little bit. But you can pick the hue of the background, the color of the pixels themselves, different frequencies, a ton of customization, which is really nice in my opinion because those lights are meant to be a creative tool and to mimic the natural things like fire as natural as possible. And thanks to big size, 4 feet is a pretty long light, you'll be able to light pretty big surfaces. So guys, now we're inside a slink and we're trying to make the fire effect as natural as possible and as you can see, it's looking pretty decent in my opinion, so we have different base colors, the background color and the pixel colors, you can see those on the right. You can pick even some strange colors like I show you here. But all in all, I do enjoy using uh, the app and the customization is through the roof. And here is the rainbow effect, you can pick a very fast motion or you can basically make it uh, fade into different colors in a very natural and really slow way, like 1 or 2 or 10 centimeters a second. And here is a little creepy pixel chase scene, so they are moving back and forth right now. But you can also fake something like light poles passing by a car. Or like I show you here, if I was in an elevator with a glass back, you'll be able to see that I'm passing through different floors, for instance. I love those pixel effects and if you know how to use them, 
they'll be just perfect for your product shots and overall mimicking some natural things. But what in terms of brightness, let's compare it to Luxio P120S, which I have a review on, on the channel, and here we have the settings on the lower part of the image, 100% brightness, 5600 Kelvin, and as you can see, the Luxio is a little bit dimmer, and the Amaran PT4C does have slight advantage, but these lights are not crazy bright, you have to keep that in mind. When we pick a different color, for instance purple, HSI 300 degrees, we can see that the Amaran has more vibrant, more natural, let me say, colors, and it's also a bit brighter. And look at the green value of the slides, you can see that the Luxio does have more green in the purple color, but it shouldn't have a lot of green in purple, it's a mix of red and blue channels basically. So the Amaran does give you better purple color in this case, but when it comes to the red color, I think that the Amaran does have some slight orangey yellowish shift, and when we have a look at the waveform, we can see that for some reason Amaran does have a little bit of green color, whereas I wanted only the red color to be present in this shot. In terms of skin tones, it's fine, I don't see any major problems with the skin tones, and with 10-bit cameras that we're all using right now, you'll be able to dial in any skin tone, basically. So all in all, what I think about those two lights? I think they're awesome, and it's a very good tool for any videographer or production, and I think a lot of creators and videographers will be able to use those lights in very different situations creatively. In terms of prices, if you want to buy this kit of two lights, it'll set you back $840, which is not cheap by any means, but the build quality of the kit itself and the features of those two lights are really worth it in my opinion. You can also buy a one piece for $430, which is also a pretty reasonable price for this good of a product. If you don't need 4 foot long tube light, you'll be more than fine with 2 foot long tube light, I guess, for $300. I think 2 feet is a sweet spot. And if you are really tight on a budget, there is an option of 1 foot light, and it costs $140. But to be honest guys, I think that 1 foot is a little short. As far as the competitors, we have the YC Onion Energy Tube Pro 120 RGB LED tube light for $400. It's decently good, but it's not as smooth in terms of pixel effects as the Amaran. Also, we have the Nanlite Pavo tube, which is $463 right now, but it used to cost $580, so it's now on a discount, and it's also a very decent light, but it is a bit more expensive. And finally, we have the Godox TP4R Pixel RGB light for $569 which is much more expensive than the Amaran PT4C. If you want me to review the Godox light, leave a comment down below, I'll try to get it. To conclude, I'm impressed with the quality of the PT4C light and I can highly recommend trying it out yourself. But for me personally, the 4 foot version is a bit too bulky and also heavy, especially if you get a 2 lights kit. So instead, I would stick to a 2 foot option. I also wish that Amaran PT4C had a bit more pixel zones for smoother transitions and not plastic holders. Metal would be perfect. Other than that, PT4C is an extraordinary light that unleashes your creativity and it's a must have for product videography, indie filmmakers, or music video productions. So what do you think, guys? Have you tried using the pixel lights in your workflow? Share all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please smash the like and subscribe buttons and the notifications bell. If you don't need pixel effects and you are looking for 4 foot but really good quality and cheap light, I highly recommend you watch my next video, Luxio P120S review. See you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.